Hello dear viewer, this is Melanie. Welcome to the Braid and Tinker Knitting Podcast. This is a video cast where I tell you all about my knitting. Well, actually this was a knitting podcast. A video cast where I would tell you all about my knitting. On December 4th, 2017, I recorded and published my very first knitting podcast on YouTube here on this channel. I wanted to have a place where I could record my knitting journey, feel more connected to the knitting online community and craft out a space where I could expand my knitting skills. It has become so much more. I've made so many connections both online and offline. I've challenged myself, knitted items I never thought I could. I dabbled into dyeing yarn, I made project bags and even notions. It has also become a way for me to, in a strange way, connect with friends and family, be closer to them, even when they are far away, or if it's harder to see them because of life, or like now, because it is impossible to see them. I can still bring these people into a small section of my life and invite them for a morning tea or coffee, whilst I tell them about what I've been knitting. And even though I sometimes lose my knitting mojo and I am no longer interested for sometimes months on end. I always know that it will come back to me, that at some point in time I will pick up my needles and start knitting again. Working on some old project that's been patiently waiting for me in a bag on my couch, waiting for me to add more stitches and help it grow into something wonderful. Those of you who've been watching this channel for a long time might already know that I have often struggled with the traditional format of the knitting podcast as a thing. My talking head, holding up knitted objects or knitted objects to be, it has always felt weird. A video about knitting, and yet I never do any knitting. I never show you the act of knitting itself, the beauty of it, the calmness, the stillness. I love that part of knitting, where I can sit comfortably in a corner, inside, outside, randomly pass the time one stitch at a time, either letting my mind wander or pausing my random thoughts to focus all my brain space on counting and keeping stitch patterns in order, working away on a future beloved object for me or someone else. That part of knitting is so magical to me. I'm always sad that I can't let other people feel that part. See how wonderful it is, so peaceful, just me and my knitting. Instead, I have a knitting podcast where I sit up, diligently hold up item after item that I have worked on. It invites this feeling of never having enough to show, never having enough knitting to talk about. Never having enough exciting things, never having enough new yarn, never having enough popular patterns knitted, never having knit enough hidden gems. The mass consumerism of knitting. I'm starting to reject that feeling of never being enough, that I am not enough. It is a feeling that society places on women anyway. Are you pretty enough? Wear eyeliner, lipstick, nail polish enough? Are your eyelashes long enough? Are you doing your best as a mother 100% of the time? Are your parental efforts measuring up enough? Are you not a boss babe working late into the night to provide for your family? Are you successful enough? Do you make yourself palatable enough, uh, enough as a woman in the workplace? Do you add a smiley to your email requests so that people do not mistake you for being unkind? Do you say sorry enough? Do you lean in enough? Do you lean out enough? Is your home clean enough? Is it tidy enough? Is it fancy enough? Is it both Pinterest worthy, Instagram worthy? Does your family love being in that space? Is it beautiful, inviting, nourishing, warm, cool, fantastically fantastical? Is your life not an endless parade with flowers and elephants? Do you have enough balloons? Are you not in control enough? Is your hair flowy like that of a mermaid? Is your body enough? Are your clothes good enough? Have you knitted enough this week to record a podcast? Is your podcast following this weird predetermined format that we all seem to make because of no reasons at all? And do we sometimes dream about making something else? A video of a different kind. Pushing that feeling away because it might be rejected by you, dear viewer, because it is not the knitting podcast we expected. It is not enough. That 
feeling of not being enough and not doing enough, even though I am 100% trying to do all the things, is exhausting and I am just not doing it anymore. This summer, I will turn 40 and I can feel myself changing. I care less and less about what other people think of me. I want to live my life in a way that makes me happy. I am enough. I do enough. I have enough. I show enough. I make enough. I am enough and I need to start thinking more about what I want and not what I think people expect of me. I need to make the type of videos that I want to make. I need to have space to explore what type of videos I want to make and not limit myself by what I think others want to see. I need to recognise that this is my YouTube channel. I can do what I want, make what I want. I could upload hours of video of an ant crawling around in my backyard. I won't, but I could. I need to stop worrying what people think, what YouTube thinks, what the algorithm thinks. I really, really, really appreciate everyone who's been watching this channel these past few years. And don't get me wrong, I am not doing this to snub you. I am doing this for me so I can continue making videos in a way that is healthy and sustainable for me. And that sparks that little spot of creativity and joy in my brain. I hope you will continue with me on this journey, dear viewer, and see where this new beginning will take us. I hope it will take us on a discovery on the magic that is knitting, the calm that is crafting, the beauty that is creating in your own way and your own style, making in a way that is enough, because it is made in a way that you wanted to make it. If following this path means that I will have less followers, then so be it. If going down this road means less people see what I make, then that's okay too. I need to change things here for me to make things in a way that is fun and inspiring for me. I have to make things that I love that I would want to watch myself, even if it means that I am the only one watching. I love knitting and it will always be a part of me and of who I am. And I would like to honour it in the best way that I can by showing you how knitting fits into my life as a whole with all of its facets. <laughs>